Hello and welcome to Stone Park in Ballyanna, Ennis County Clare. This is a four bedroom detached dormer bungalow set on a fantastic mature site just 400 metres from Ballyanna Lake. The property offers bright and spacious living accommodation with ample car parking provided on this wraparound Tarmac Adam Drive and of course you have your mature lawns to both sides and indeed to the rear as well. So let's take a look at the inside of Stone Park. So as you come in the main entrance doorway you are onto this solid oak timber flooring and this magnificent full height ceiling to floor feature which has the first floor landing looking down onto the main entrance hallway. Your carpeted polished rail stairs leads to the first floor landing and the layout is you have a the main reception here to, to the right hand side you have the first of your four bedrooms here straight ahead of me and swinging the camera around you're into the second reception the second reception is a very nice bright and spacious room with the sliding patio door out onto the side gardens you have a nice bay window here out onto the front and again that solid oak timber flooring brought right through here as well. Your brick surround feature fireplace has the advantage of a solid fuel stove with nice integration of shelving there to the left hand side. The owner has gone for a more traditional theme in this house with the exposed beams and of course your kind of rough styled uh, cottagey type plaster work on the walls and it kind of suits the environment that the property is in. If you're unfamiliar with where Stone Park is uh, Ballyalla Lake would be one of the more um, nice recreational areas for the people of Ennis to enjoy and indeed you have magnificent country uh, roads to enjoy for your walks or runs or cycles and Ennis Town is literally a five minute drive from this home. Ballyalla would be noted as one of the more sought after areas in Ennis Town and that's due to, as I say, the recreational facilities and indeed its proximity to the amenities. So the, off the second reception, you're into your kitchen breakfast. And this has your solid oak built-in wall and base units with the ample work surfaces and it has the usual space and plumbing for your appliances. As you can see, the house is, has been vacated. So hence the bit of the echo and the blank spaces that you see here in the kitchen. Off the kitchen area then you have your utility room. Again, plenty big, loads of units uh, for storage with your exposed shelving. You have access there into the ground floor WC and another wash and basin out here as well with access out into the back gardens. So we'll continue the, the camera just so that you have a better feel to the flow and we pop back out into the entrance hallway here and we'll go straight into that second reception room here to the right hand side. So once again we're into a very bright and spacious room and take note of that solid timber flooring once again. You have the exposed beam ceiling similar to the, uh, the first reception and then you have that brick surround feature fireplace as well with the side shelving and great natural light being provided via two nice big windows here, one out onto the front gardens and driveway and this one here out onto the front as well where you come in the front door. Again that rough style plasterwork or the cottagey type plasterwork is brought into this room as well and as we go around the rest of the house it's your smooth plaster finished then. So back out into that entrance hallway Again, just to give you the view of that full height ceiling, real grand entrance hallway, great feel for when you walk in the front door. And then we're into the first of your four bedrooms. And it, once again, that solid oak timber floor brought through here. And off of this room, you have a ground floor ensuite as well. Shower is positioned to the left hand side. Again, we'll keep that for your day of viewing. So we'll take a peek at the first floor. So as we arrive at the first floor landing, you have that solid oak timber flooring again. You have your door into the hot press housing immersion tank and shelving here to the right hand side. 
door here ahead of me into the first of the first floor bedrooms. We have our bathroom here in the middle, and then we are into two further bedrooms, one here to my left and another here to the right hand side, heading out to the front. The bedroom here to the, to the side of the house has an ensuite off of it, nice double room with the oak style timber flooring brought into here. The main bathroom again has the timber flooring, nice tile work, and behind the door we have the wash hand basin positioned there. Over here as we pass out the hot press, we're into the second of the first floor bedrooms, which will be bedroom three overall. And once again, you have that oak style timber flooring and plenty of natural light being provided with two windows. We have one final bedroom here to the right hand side. We'll keep that for your, for your day of viewing, uh, but it's a nice, uh, nice bright and spacious room once again. And we'll give you a quick walk around the site to get you to really appreciate its location, privacy, and indeed the outdoor space that complements the interior. So pop, popping back out onto the front of the house, you can see that fast tarmac Adam drive, your mature uh, hedgerows and trees, you have plenty of lawn area. And overall, very, very private. For this time of the year, obviously, you won't get to really fully appreciate the maturity of the site. But it certainly has it all. That driveway, great to have it. It's a nice expense out of the way. And of course, you have your front boundary wall as well, which is faced in stone on the other side. Nice mature tree here to the front. And we're back around to the front of the house. So, if you'd like further information on Stone Park in Baniana, please feel free to call us on 065-684-0200 or email us info at dngosullivanhurley.com. Thank you very much for watching.